Welcome back, everybody. My name is Sir Richard Dean Gert III. If you cannot remember, um, or if you've never seen the show at all, welcome to the show to the first time. Man, it's been a crazy year uh, for, for everybody that I know. Within the band itself, we've lost friends, we've lost family members, we've lost jobs, we've lost money, we've lost band members. Everybody has been deeply impacted by the pandemic that's happening right now for the worse, with the exception of maybe uh, Mr. Bezos, but uh, what's been really endearing uh, throughout the course of the last six months is to see people's resolve to not sink into uh, depression or uh, give up what they're doing and, and just absolve to fail. And what we've tried to do as a band is to show the same tenacity and, and not give up and hold things together in, in, in the light of all of the crazy stuff that's been happening. In the last six months, we've written new music, we've learned new instruments, we've moved into the missile silo and uh, what you'll see as a difference from the last few videos that we've done is uh, you know the background looks different and this is a super secret undisclosed place in the heart of Youngstown Ohio it's in a basement and it's gonna be really cool you can watch the videos and you'll see how the place evolves around us as we use this for our new practice spot so yeah this is the first look into the missile silo none of us are really sure what the future holds for the rest of this year or next year we all know that the issues aren't going to magically go away when uh, the ball drops on 2021 but uh, one thing we can all agree on is that the year 2020 can officially That's the worst. Yeah, well, it's because I didn't clip them. <laughs> you guys clip your fingernails? I bite mine. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I bite mine, too. <laughs> that is majorly disgusting. It's probably really so disgusting. so gross about it. But. Fingernails are literally the worst. I don't understand why we have them in the first place anyway. I mean, if you just wash your hands, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Everyone should be washing their hands right now, by yeah, the way. No, no yeah. doubt, but I mean, still. Do you know you how many Coronas are underneath yeah, your fingernails? That's where they hide. <laughs> that's how this whole thing got started. You just people fingernails. biting their fingernails in yeah. China after eating bats. Yeah. <laughs> that's how this started. It wasn't... It, yeah. <laughs> Dave, Dave is over there being a super spreader, like biting his fingernails. Yeah, just, and I was spitting them yeah. everywhere. You know, spitting them out on the floor. Yeah, now they're on his bass guitar. Yeah, yeah. Other people on come on. over, they're like, you play bass? Let me touch it. <laughs> <laughs> they they want to lick it. They want to lick it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what do you think we would do without fingernails? Well, I've been saying for a long time that I think we should have evolved away from fingernails by now. I don't completely pointless. Like what I don't, I don't what is it? protect removed. your fingers. No, I'm not. We sh I'm Sh just saying as humans, we all. should have gotten rid of them by now. We haven't been using them <laughs> for they, a couple they hundred years. They reinforce the tips of your fingers. How the hell are you going to scratch your stuff no, without don't. fingernails? They're on the top of your fingers. <laughs> how, how would you scratch your stuff without we fingernails? We get calluses. He makes a good point. How are we going to have pet cats and dogs? We can't give them scratches. Yeah. You just, you just give you your just get a stick. Yeah, <laughs> get a stick. Get a stick. And so just all I'm saying is the trade off's not worth it. You got to maintain <laughs> these things constantly. It's like, what benefit? Okay, you could scratch your dog with them and other parts. But yeah. Just. Yeah, no. All I, I'm saying is. I use my fingernails for opening up packages, for scratching my parts. That's what the knife's for. So, so yeah. the evolutionary. You always got a knife on you. Yeah, I always do, but that's for cleaning my fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bite them off. <laughs> and then you spit them out. <laughs> so, uh, like when I when I was a bachelor living with uh, a couple of friends of mine, uh, we had this guy Brian Sabina that used to uh, like like 
put food in the refrigerator and never eat it and then just let it rot. Cool. And if you threw it away, he would get, oh, that's my food. <laughs> it's got my fucking name on it, dude. Yeah. So we started, like, hiding little things in there and, and putting, like, like cans of cat food. And, and uh, <laughs> he quit doing that when I put a giant bag of fingernails that oh. I've been saving up for, like, a month just – <laughs> biting them off and uh, keeping them, uh, <laughs> put them in a yes. little baggie and setting them on the. I, I was like hearing that's that somewhere. Dedication, man. That's yeah. really <laughs> dedicated. I heard that somewhere. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah it's it's an old thing. Sure. And you remember when you kids would act up and I would threaten for the toenail fairy to come <laughs> find you? <laughs> like the one time I weaved a, a big fat toenail into the brushes bristles of your. <laughs> you're <laughs> fucking kidding. <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it fell out before you brushed it. Cause well, you totally year, that's year. that's why, much like biting your fingernails off, you always wash your toothbrush before you put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Just in case the toenail fairy shows up. In case the toenail fairy shows up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I've had enough of that. Yeah. Bye.